Hi guys, in today's video I'm gonna be doing an anti-haul. I'm so excited because I have not done an anti-haul in so many months. <laughs> you guys have been asking for one. So I'm gonna do a holiday edition. These items are gonna include things that I've seen recently for the holiday season or even a couple months back that I'm just now getting around to talking about because you guys know I don't tend to shop a lot and there's a lot of crap that comes out especially around the holiday season and I just can't be bothered so I'm gonna share with you guys all the things that I'm not here for and hopefully in 2018 the makeup industry can chill on just putting out things that aren't great quality or things that aren't necessarily thought all the way through because some of this stuff I'm just like why who did it and why so what's on your list let's get started now I have taken some notes and I will be inserting y'all the mailman is on at this holiday season it is Sunday and he's delivering packages yes we make sure he's not delivering something for me mm-hmm Okay, the first thing on my list, and I'm going to be placing pictures in this video, is the Too Faced White Chocolate Palette. Um, I remember, I think, last year when Too Faced came out with these mini palettes. I think they had like a white chocolate and like a mint chocolate or something like that. Well, the white chocolate palette... I'm just speaking for myself. I don't see how this would show up on my skin tone. These colors, they're very light and like washed out to me. And it's just not like a very appealing palette to me. Uh, I, I think that Too Faced has made all of my anti-hauls. Uh, I think Too Faced should probably go back to the drawing board in 2018. I don't know. Just like since the Sweet Peach palette, I have not really liked anything Too Faced. Uh, I think they're putting out way too many palettes and some of them just don't look like they would be suited for women of color. Also, the colors in here don't even really look that nice. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm not here for this palette and I definitely won't be purchasing it. Next on my list is the Too Faced uh what is this called the chocolate gold bar palette now you guys know i love the chocolate bar series i have all the chocolate bar palettes except the ones that have come out i guess after the sweet peach which i guess would be the white chocolate and the mini ones this palette is nice i like the shimmery tones in it but the colors just look like colors that everybody already has in their collection i think i'm at the point in my life and my makeup collection where it's like i'm not just gonna buy things because they're new when i look at a palette i want to see that it has colors that i don't necessarily have in my collection or i like the cohesiveness of the palette together uh like my modern renaissance palette i'm sure i probably have some of these colors but i don't have them in one palette and i like how you can use this palette to get a multitude of different looks and i did use this palette today um, except for the glitter on my lids but I don't know the Too Faced gold chocolate whatever it's called it's cute but I don't know I'm just now looking for palettes that are really going to give me something that I don't have because I think a lot of us have the general neutral and shimmery shades that come in a lot of these palettes and I don't want to just hoard palettes so yeah sorry Too Faced the next thing on my list now I know I include Kim Kardashian in every anti haul but we really Really need to visit this one now she has fragrance for some reason i thought years and years and years ago kim had fragrances i'm not sure if this is just now solely under her brand or what have you but i just feel like it's very gimmicky and the fact that they're made out of um bottles to look like crystals it's just like you're hopping on the bandwagon like next she's probably gonna have a unicorn fragrance i don't know i'm just not here for it and i think it's just like come on but once again that's me <laughs> The next thing is the Kylie Holiday Collection. Okay, this is a serious question. How many collections does Kylie have in her makeup line? I swear it's every month she has a new collection. St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, Halloween, Earth Day, Christmas. I mean, my goodness, like... And the crazy thing is people keep shopping her makeup and they're just making her richer and richer. And, you know, I've never personally tried any of her makeup line because I have no interest in it. But I highly doubt that her products are just that amazing where every time there's a new holiday or a new season, she has to come out with a whole new collection. Like, 
I am over it. Okay, next thing, the Kat Von D highlight palette. One, you guys know how I feel about highlighter. I don't really feel like every time a new highlighter comes out, people need to run and buy it because from my experience, when you put it on the skin, it looks generally the same. So that was the first thing that made me go in. But then as I looked at the picture more closely, the colors look super, super chunky. And then I read the reviews and everybody said it's a glittery highlight and not a shimmery highlight. And I like my highlight to make my skin look wet and sexy and silky, not like I just crushed some gold rocks on my face. So, um, and I'm really surprised because usually a lot of Kat Von D's products um, are formulated really nicely and I tend to like a lot of her products, but sorry Kat, sorry girl. I still love you, but can't do it. Okay, the next thing is the Tom Ford Sheer Duo and this is a cheek duo for $80. $80. This is the reason why I only have one Tom Ford beauty product in my collection and that will be a lip gloss. My mother bought it. I don't think I would ever, oh wait, that's a lie. <laughs> I also have a Tom Ford lipstick in Marguerite because it was my name and I wanted it. But let's face it, this is like a collector's item and I haven't even worn it on my lips besides swatching it. Um, I just, you guys know I love luxury products, but there are just certain things that I would just never spend a lot of money on. I think for a blush, the most I would spend is probably about $35. Uh, I don't really see why anyone would need to spend almost $100 on a cheek duo, especially one that's sheer. But this kind of encompasses Tom Ford's whole makeup collection because I just can't bring myself to spend that much money on makeup, especially when I feel like a lot of people, especially who do YouTube, we buy makeup and then we, in a sense, just hoard it because like, do you really look at your whole collection every day and think, oh, I wanna use something different without like consciously making an effort to do that because I know I don't. I mean, I bought this liquid blush in the Sephora sale and I haven't even tried it yet. So I just, I don't feel great about spending upwards of 100 or $80 on a single makeup item. So sorry, Tom Ford. Next, we have some MAC holiday palettes. And I think I saw these on Nordstrom. Number one, you guys know how I feel about MAC. I think that, well, at least 10 years ago when I first got into MAC, I think MAC was probably at its highest in terms of popularity. People were really into MAC. They were constantly sending beauty gurus out these huge packages. They were sponsoring hauls, all that great stuff. I don't really think that MAC is as popular as it used to be with the onset of all these social media brands and what have you uh, but to me MAC is still a staple in the makeup community because they do have some good products I just don't tend to like how MAC moves um, so yeah I'm not really into MAC but when I saw these collections uh, these, these palettes on Nordstrom's website one is called basic B-I-T-C-H um, like why do you have to name a palette that is it just me like is it not enough to just have a palette be great and sell it as is like do we have to give it a tacky like really catchy name because I just I don't understand that when you put basic B on a product you're only marketing towards you're only marketing to a certain type of girl or guy who's gonna want to have a palette that's called that and then furthermore the colors in it don't even look that pretty like what is MAC doing? I just, I have questions. <laughs> I have questions. The, another one of the palettes is called Prissy Princess. <laughs> and as much as I pride myself on being a prissy little princess, I don't think I would ever want a palette called Prissy Princess. It kind of just puts me in the mind of like um, lip smackers. Like, you know, when you were a kid and you had those like flavored chapsticks, like I would think a flavor of those chapsticks would be called Prissy Princess, not like a, how much, I don't know, when they're 50 or 60 or $40, not a MAC palette, no. And then another one is called Mischief Minx. <laughs> it's just like, MAC, what are you doing? Like come out with your holiday gift sets that you always did with pretty packaging, come with the quality products and ingredients or the little mini brush sets like these palettes i just i don't i don't know i'm confused and i can't <laughs> 
so yeah those are all the items i have on my anti-haul right now um i feel like there's probably a lot more that i'm not into and that i'm not buying but it's really been hard for me to even come across a lot of these products because i don't spend a lot of time looking at new makeup and things like that but i know that especially for the holiday time there's just an influx of trash <laughs> that's put on the market and i don't mean that in a negative well I mean, it is what it is, but in my opinion, I think companies use holiday time to package up things and make it look nice when the content inside might not be that great. So I don't tend to uh, buy a lot of holiday sets. I don't find that the quality is there with like a permanent collection or something that will come out regularly i feel like during the holiday season they're mass producing products and we're getting crappy quality and i'm trying to be more cognizant of how i spend my money in terms of beauty and makeup and i'm not gonna spend money on trash anymore no not today and not ever so hopefully as we go into 2018 we get more quality products coming back on the market and less things being pushed at us because this year I was really disappointed in the makeup industry and the things that were put out. Um, uh, but luckily for me, I decided to scale back and I don't have to subscribe to all this mess and I don't have to waste my money. So it works out for me. But if you guys have done an anti-haul for the holiday season, please let me know down below because I love to watch anti-hauls. I think they're so interesting. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.